During the Iraqi invasion of Iran in 1980, a deadly war began that lasted more than eight years. On November 24, 1981, an event occurred that indoctrinated the Mirage F-1 into the Hall of Fame in the history of air combat. A's were shot down by the Iraqi Air Force Mirages oh. using the new Super Matra 530F missiles. Oh, I love this video. I love the this The tactical video. scenario was very well planned. Utilizing a maneuver called the Giraffe, an aggressive pop-up from very low level, and a quick lock-on and launch of a pair of Super Matras. Love this. During the first Gulf War in 1991, despite the overwhelming air superiority of the Allies' coalition air forces, more than 100 Iraqi aircraft escaped to Iran. At the beginning, United States intelligence assumed the Iraqi pilots were defecting. But after a more detailed analysis, it was clear. The flights followed planned routes and was the result of a secret agreement with the Iranian government. Among the defected Iraqi fighters, 24 of them were the ones This is dope. Between the first Gulf War and the second Gulf War, the United States Air Force enforced a no-fly zone in the north and south of Iraq. In 1995, the F-16Cs of the 480th Fighter Squadron, belonging to the Warhawks Nation, was commissioned to secure the air policy in the northern no-fly zone from Incirlik Air Force Base in Turkey. In the unlikely case that the Iraqi volunteer fighter pilots decided to cross the border with their night, mirages Elsie. to attack the F-16 combat air patrols, the United States Air Force wanted their pilots to be prepared. This is the reason why the squadron made a short training stage in Al Basit Air Base on its way to Turkey. During one intense week, the F-16 pilots were able to train against the Spanish Mirage F-1 pilots in the 142nd Tiger Squadron. This is very well done. This is amazing. <laughs>
it's on like Donkey Kong. Last combat wasn't awesome. real. It was one of hundreds, if not thousands, of mock-up combat scenarios oh, was, in Spain and Germany. To I train the United States Air Force pilots wow. headed to the no-fly zone enforcement in Iraq from 1992 to 1998. One so was able to attack an F-16, but in the case, the United States Air Force pilots were in good shape due to the hard training received from the Spanish pilots of the 14th Wing and their application of the giraffe technique. For Desert Storm. That's awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. I'm sorry. I was watching this thinking this is like a, an actual battle that happened in Desert Storm. But these were these were uh, test flights. These were uh, sparring practices. That uh, th This is awesome. Listen, I'm liking this. Hornet Productions, 13,000 subscribers. Listen, we've helped them out quite a few times. <laughs> I think when we found, I think when we found Hornet, he had like four or five thousand subscribers. He's owning it up right now. Keep helping him out, guys. Um, I'm going to continue to support Hornet. He he makes really great content. Um, I'm going to put the comment down there that, so he knows we're watching. Great um, job on this, Hornet. Uh, let's see productions. Boom, boom, boom. We all loved it. You guys, go over there. If you're watching on YouTube, the description link, uh, the link will be down in the description. Please go there, show him some serious love, and uh, I, I, he's killing it. He's killing it. You're doing a great job, Hornet. You're doing a great job, dude. Awesome. 